Hi there, welcome to a quick video tutorial on calculating measures of central tendency in Excel. I'm just going to quickly walk you through how to calculate mean, median mode, and standard deviation for your individual variables. Okay, so what I've done is just created a fake set of data. I've got hours of video games in a day versus frequency. So maybe the first thing I'll do is show you how to make a chart. You just highlight your table, go up to charts. Uh, scatter and go to marked scatter. Excel will generate a graph for you. You're obviously going to change the labels and the title behind this blue box. I've already done that. So I'll just show you the finished product. Uh, you can see I've got a nice little normal distribution here. So let's dig into calculating the average. So if you think about what we have here in this table, I've got a couple different data values, but my frequency column tells me the number of data values I have. So if you think about this, I have zero zeros, I've got two ones, I've got four 1.5s and so on. So it's not enough for me to just add up this column and divide by the number of data values. I actually have to take into consideration the fact that I have several of these data values. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm making another column in Excel. This column just says, I'm gonna take the frequency and multiply by the data value. And I'm gonna do that for each one. This is two times one, four times 1.5 and so on and so on and so on. So if I add all of these together, that should give me the total of all of my data values added together. Okay, and I'm gonna divide by the total number of responses, which would just be my frequencies added up. And I've done that in Excel by typing sum, open some brackets, and I just highlight that range of data. So that tells me I've got 33 responses. So to calculate my average, we need to add up this new column and divide by the number of responses. In the bar up here, you're just gonna type equals sum, you're going to highlight this new column and divide by whatever value you get when you add up your frequency. And that will tell you the average for your variable. Okay, the median, this one requires a little bit more work. Again, it has to do with the fact that we've got this frequency situation, right? It's not enough just to find the middle of, of this column. Remember, I've got a couple ones, a couple 1.5s, right? So that's going to definitely affect my median in a similar way that it affected my mean. So the easiest way to do this in Excel is to take all of your data values and make a new list. So what I've done is I've taken my hours and I've listed them in order, including the frequency. So you can see I've got two ones. So I've, I've got one and a one here. I've got four 1.5s. So I've listed four 1.5s, six twos, and so on. So what I've essentially done is ordered my data set. And then for my median calculation, in a bar, I'm going to type equals median, and I'm going to highlight the range of my data set. Okay, and that's all you have to do for your median. By definition, mode is the data value that occurs the most. The easiest way to do this is just to look at your highest frequency. Remember, frequency means the number of times it occurs. Occurs. So in my data set, three hours of video games a day seems to occur the most. Therefore, that's your mode. So for your standard deviation, you're going to type this formula here. This calculation, this P refers to the population to use S for sample. It does make a slight difference if you use population or sample. You're going to type that formula. You're going to open a set of brackets and you're going to highlight that same list. So this is your list of data from up in your frequency chart. Okay, so once you type in that formula, you push equals. That'll give you your standard deviation.